It's piling up it's too, too much. much. It's piling up. What, what you gonna, gonna do? do? It's piling up. It's too much. It's piling up. So what, what you gonna, gonna do? do? Reduce. How many things do you reuse? reuse? Old things just make them new. Recycle, dude. It's so easy to do. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Ooh, we do. Americans produce more trash than any other people on the planet. Every year, we throw away enough aluminum to rebuild the American Airlines fleet 71 times, enough steel to reconstruct Manhattan, and enough wooden paper to heat 5 million homes for 200 years. It's piling up it's too much. It's piling up. What, what you gonna, gonna do? It's piling up it's too much. It's piling up. So what, what you gonna, gonna do? Although the U.S. now recycles about 28% of its waste, double from a decade ago, Municipal trash generation has grown by 60% since 1980, and the trash is piling up. It's piling up it's too much. It's piling up. What, what you gonna, gonna do? do? It's piling up it's too much. It's Recycling up. programs offer relief to overflowing landfills and can transform tossed trash into treasure. It has a value. You know, so why in the world do you want to throw it away? I mean, if it's worth if it's worth $90 a ton, why do you want to pay $50 a ton to put it in a landfill? It just doesn't make sense. The economics uh, of recycling makes sense. We do about 60,000 tons a year at this recycle facility, and we're looking at a 20% increase, so we're looking at jumping up to around 72 to 75,000 tons a year, which takes up a lot of space in the landfill. In most Southwest Florida counties, recyclable materials are trucked to independent sorting plants but Lee County owns and operates its own sorting facility. The sale of this recyclable material generates nearly $2 million per year for the county. Plastics can go anywhere from uh, $250 to $600 a ton. Aluminum's in the uh, $1,500 to $1,800 a ton range. Cardboard and newspapers, and uh, newspaper right now is around $160 a ton, and cardboard's around $110 a ton. There's a, a real good market for this material right now. People don't know what happens to this stuff. They put it at the curb and it goes away. Well, this is where it comes to is our recycling plant here. And when it comes in here, we separate it by what it is. We market this material. Uh, this material has value, and we put, the we put the money right back into the recycling program. Like charity, recycling begins at home and then continues curbside. Plastics and glass are separated from paper and cardboard and placed in separate bins on the trash truck. At the recycling facility, the material is carefully separated again. Sorters first remove unrecyclable items, including cookware and the most common recycling mistake plastic grocery bags. We have about a 5% residue rate coming into the facility, which means about 5% of the material is not recyclable. The stuff that's not recyclable, we take out, we bale it up, we take it to the waste of energy, and we burn it and produce electricity. Glass and plastics go into separate conveyor belts, where the fast-moving, never-ending stream of trash is skillfully separated once again by sorters. Paper products are sorted on the other side of the facility. Once sorted, the materials are baled and loaded onto trucks. We get between 50 and 60 trucks a day bringing material into the facility, and we ship out about 12 tractor trailer loads of material a day. It's cheaper to make material out of recycled material than it is out of virgin fiber and virgin products. It takes less water and less energy. It saves on the landfill airspace. It's harder and harder to permit landfills and waste energy facilities. So we need to recycle all we can. Although nearly 50% of all residential household trash is recyclable, few households achieve this. And we're doing 35 pounds out of every 100 generated in Lee County currently, you know, and our, our goal is 50%, you know, so, uh, and, and it's doable. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we gotta watch what we buy. What's it contained in? What's it contained? Where will it end up? Where will it lie? Can it be changed and used over again? Each individual choice to recycle or not to recycle can make a difference. People don't make the effort to break that cardboard down and place it out with their recycle container on recycle day so it's getting picked up as trash. And that's probably eight to 10,000 tons a year just from the residential homeowners uh, that's actually being burned. And once it's burned, it's gone forever. If you recycle it, you can use it over and over again. 
To help boost recycling efforts, Lee County requires all businesses to recycle. We generate very little trash, and we come to realize that once we started recycling. You know, when you're mixing stuff together, it's messy. The recycling is so, so much cleaner. We actually, we save about 150 bucks a month. Both business owners and their customers are reaping the benefits of recycling. After I advertised it to my customers and I put in a recycling garbage can with the lid, you know, so they knew where to put their recycling items, um, I was able to go from a two-yard dumpster to a can. So that's a savings of about $95 a month. We have a bring your own cup program where they get a discount if they bring their own cup or reuse one of our cups. We also sell compostable corn cups that they can, it's a travel mug, it's made out of corn. Although caring for the environment makes sense, in reality, it's cost savings and convenience that make recycling programs work. Convenience, that's all it comes down to. I, I, I've, I'm doing better than I used to do. I, I recycle here at the coffee shop. Melinda's made it easy. You hear comments about what are you going to do, single-handedly save the world, how are you going to do that? And the point isn't to save the world, the point is to decrease the negative impact that you as an individual have on the world. I can cut down on the negative impact that I'm having. I can use green-friendly products. I can cut down on the landfill portion that I've caused in the past. And I can try to decrease the carbon footprint that I make. These things get recycled and can get reused now and instead of being going out to the landfill and just taking up space. I mean, it, it's a wonderful thing for the environment. It's a lot easier than you think and it's a good thing. They ought to try it out. Right now we gotta do it before it's too late. There's only so much that this planet can take, so reduce, reuse, recycle.